You're right. And I think we can also uh, lighten the mood a little bit by giving a good example of bad leadership and what happens when you have a population that just blindly marches behind blind leadership and refuses to accept it. We have a series of stories, actually. The first of which is that Ron DeSantis said to Joe Biden, I don't want to hear a blip out of you until you secure the border because he accused Joe Biden of importing the virus. What is it, like 7,000? 7,000 in McAllen, Texas, tested positive, I believe. And Joe Biden, this is the craziest thing. Biden's like, we're going to require all foreign visitors to be vaccinated. But illegal immigrants, it's optional. No, I'm not kidding. Literally, they're like, we'll offer it to you if you want it. But 1.2 million people. So so Joe Biden responds saying, Governor who? (laughs) And Ron DeSantis had the best comeback. Oh, I don't think, forgot who I am, too? I don't think, That's yeah. what I would have hit him with. Like, well, <laughs> he said, what else has he forgotten? Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Beautiful. Good for him. I remember yeah. Obama making fun of Trump this way. Just this dismissive, like, yeah. who does he, that guy's nobody. He will never, he's like, uh, fortunately, I will be remembered as a president. Mm. You remember yeah. that? Mm-hmm. And then he You're missing the, uh, uh, yeah. I'll be remembered uh, as a president. I'll, uh, be uh, remembered uh, we're as at, president. Uh, 40,000 feet. Uh, DeSantis, 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 dude, smart, man. Yeah. yeah, just and now there's a really funny article. It was like, it was from The Independent. Ron DeSantis' popularity plummets after Joe Biden says governor. Who? And I'm like, no, it <laughs> no, didn't. No, it there's no, where are they getting that? I'm well, no, no, no. It's a, it's a spurious correlation. It's yeah. like his, his, his approval rating goes down because of COVID in Florida or something. And then Biden says governor who? And they, they Hold on. spurious correlation. Do you yeah. think anyone who likes Ron DeSantis was like, Joe Biden just eviscerated <laughs> oh, him. Yeah. Yeah. Said, this is just like when Trump told Hillary she'd be in jail. Right. I just can't believe. <laughs> <laughs> that Biden, like, especially when this is someone who actually probably did forget who he was. Biden yeah. wasn't even trying to slam him. Yeah. So here's uh, Ryan uh, Basambles, uh, guy. They got hairy legs. Governor. Burger, corn pop. Corn pop. Was check this out, check this out, check this out. From TimCast.com, Biden says 350 million Americans have been vaccinated more than U.S. Whoa. population. What I what I love the most about... I thought about, we were up to 370. I thought we went what, to 330, what, 370. You know, what I, you know what I really love about TimCast.com is, uh, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're doing our best. Not always. Oh, I was wrong. But I this title it. is perfect. We don't snark. We're not making fun of them. We're literally just stating the fact. Biden says 350 million Americans have been vaccinated, comma, more than U.S. population. Yep. We don't need to explain anything else. The news, it's right there. It speaks for itself. Our, our uh, uh, nonpartisan factual <laughs> band. I was right. going to say, our president ain't there, dude. No, he's really not. Well, at least we're laughing, huh? Uh, yeah, man. That's one lighter story. Gallows humor. Yeah. Well, but what do we do when you He's have... He's also like look, a genuinely evil human being. Yeah. Point that oh, out. yeah. No, genuinely definitely. horrible, the, evil person. Just, you guys should read Biden Inc. from Politico, where they're like, conveniently, when Joe Biden was put in charge of Iraq, his brother got all the contracts for building things <sighs> there. Hold on. That's an unverified conspiracy theory, Tim. That's from right, Politico.com. That's an unverified conspiracy website. Oh, yeah. I love... I love <laughs> yes. I, they are. I mean, to they, be fair. Politico reported that uh, Ukrainians were scrambling after they had tried to help Hillary Clinton in the election and, and you know, interfering. And a court ruled as such. And then later, Politico reported, never happened. There was yeah. no interference. And I'm like, Politico, retract your story. But huh. they would. They had both simultaneously running. It was it was, it was beautiful. It was a beautiful paradox of fake news. Yeah, Politico's that. funny. Earlier, I was reading an article on the Biden administration repealing the Trump era rules against federal funding going towards research done on unborn children who were killed in abortion. And the article described the Trump regulations as very strict. And it's a, these very strict Trump era regulations are being unwinded by Joe Biden. Like, okay. Like- he should just he, let him kill a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Bit. You yeah. gotta, you gotta really, let people really kill him a we're, little. We're, we're never gonna do human yeah. experimentation. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Never? Yeah. That's just let him grab like a yeah. thumb at least, mm-hmm. you know? It's fall, is yeah. it that people, oh, the theory, the, the idea is that people are gonna get abortions, so you may as well use... That's the, what we were saying, basically. That's They're probably like, their oh, arguments. Look at, all, look at all the, the, the fetal oh, tissue. Oh, no. That one's at 42 weeks. I mean, it's a living baby, but... Yeah. Oh, wow. Remember, remember that South Park episode where uh, Christopher Reeves oh, man, was... Oh, man, horrible. Yeah. I don't remember that one. So, so uh, in the episode, Christopher Reeves is in a wheelchair, and then he takes a baby, and he cracks it open, and then he sucks it dry, and then he stands up from his wheelchair. The South Park guys are, are, are brilliantly funny. Oof. The issue was, though, they were mocking the idea as if it didn't happen. As if these, it, it, look, obviously, Christopher Reeves never did that. There's nobody who's literally taking the babies and cracking them open. But it's, it's, it's an analogy, I suppose. 
I guess they were exaggerating for humor's sake, but huh. we, we see these stories since 2015. Well, and also, I mean, there, there, you can do stem cell research without killing unborn children. There are, I mean, the umbilical cord is rich in stem cells. There are also stem cells that they've been able to extract from adults, and they tend to be more effective in experiments than the ones that are coming from uh, children they're killing. I'm going to tell you, man, when, once we get into the AI era... Ugh. All sense of human decency is gone. You think, I think you we're think, past that point, man. No, 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 Seems no, no, like no. It. Mm -hmm. no, no, no. Here's the thing. We, we, we're like, here's the thing. We're decent to humans who we're interfacing with. Right. But as soon as someone's out of our space, we don't care. We're yeah, complete dude, sociopaths. A True. robot is going to treat a human like we would a lab rat. Also, I, like, I, yeah, when, the AI, when the AI comes in and you get like an Ultron or whatever, look at what they do. We, we, we talked a lot about China, right? How they just will bulldoze homes because, like, you don't own it anyway. It's a lease. There's no eminent domain there. They just do whatever they want. So we had Jack Posobiec telling us how, like, you know, the, the Democrats or the, you know, the U.S. politicians go over there and they're like, you can just basically crush an entire residential neighborhood and build a highway. And they're like, yep. We're not even at that level in the United States necessarily. We have like, oh, well, there's a lawsuit and the Constitution and yeah. eminent domain, the Fifth Amendment. You've got to pay, you know, et cetera. Yeah. Once you get to the AI air le level, they're going to be like the robot's going to just in the in the flash uh, in, in the blink of an eye be like we need you know 5000 living adult humans to figure out what how x does y or something and there will be literal people just completely treated like cabbage garbage They'll do you be think paid. we're going to get to that point with ai though you guys should cuz Moore's law has been war. slowing down read which one the artelect war by hugo oh, de garris yeah, it's I've my heard favorite about that. book in the whole world isn't that like a really hard to get book or something uh yeah it's like $1000 on amazon wow. Wow. i will let you borrow my I was copy say, if you, you have like a, don't you yeah. that's, like very a, that's like a third the price of a textbook <laughs> yeah that's pretty, pretty good it's, yeah, it's uh, a lot but it's it's written it's a really interesting book this guy um, actually is pro robot takeover but he oh. he does present both sides very well <laughs> Um, and they call it the Art Elect War, where it'll be like pro robot takeover. So do you guys, yeah, so you guys really you believe AI is going to get to that point? Oh yeah, definitely. yeah, probably. Yeah, but Moore's yeah. law has been bro, bro, slowing down. You, for all you know, no, has it? No, they've started yeah, doubling we've up cores. About this. I mean, yeah, they started got... doubling up cores. Mm. What, you, just, what what cords have been so cores like? cores they started doubling up cores and processors. Oh yeah, yeah. Once once sixty four cores is that available right now? Once once Soon. yeah. So once once we hit the like Moore's law was like oh it's you know every two years it doubles yeah and then they were like oh no the 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 it's it you know everything's getting too small and the electrons are popping in and out they just started adding up more cores they're also moving away from using electricity and and shifting to light in in circuitry or quantum computing yeah so but also uh, this assumes that civil society exists long enough for yeah. AI to be developed it's gonna Bro. be they're gonna be paying women to get pregnant and just be there. And giving birth over and over and over. That'll be their job. I don't think. Yeah. Why, if if why, there's why? an AI in charge, it will be harvesting humans. No, I, we, we've talked about this before. Humans I, are already the, the AI. Humans. So there, there will be untold cruelty because cruelty doesn't exist in the mind of the machine trying to find the most efficient end. But a lot of what would happen, it, it, this is nightmarish. So first, we talked about algorithmic psychosis on this channel quite a bit. How people go on social media and then just get fed a, re, a rotating cycle of insane content, which makes them go insane over a certain amount of time. What people don't realize, you really got to look at how AIs develop things. They don't do exactly what you intend them to. YouTube yeah. made it. You, so, so. Yeah, that's true. But, but uh, to be fair, AI and algorithms are fairly different. But just for a rudimentary uh, argument, YouTube says, here are the parameters by which we want this system to feed content to people. And what they were hoping for was Game of Thrones. Hmm. Longer form content with high engagement. What do they get? They got the Incredible Hulk. And Hitler doing Tai Chi, and Hitler's head was on a bikini body, and it's singing a nursery rhyme okay, song. Okay, but to be fair, I wouldn't, that's, don't belittle that compared to the yeah. Avengers, all right, bro? Like, that's really elitist of you to say one is better than the other. Oh, oh, for sure. But here's what it's I'm saying. It's definitely awesome content. Apply that principle to an algorithmically run society in any yes. capacity, yeah. or an AI that is in, 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 uh, exponentially developing. Yeah. What'll happen is, it's, it's, we'll have nothing but corn. And then one day, all of a sudden, like, everything in the supermarket is just corn, and you're like, why where's the milk where's it? It, it just corn replaces everything because the ai was like corn's faster and easier to make and if we make more of it it's easier to make more at, mm -hmm. at one time and then all of a sudden you have no resource everyone starves well ex i mean so the problem with ai theoretically would be the same problem that we have with anything humans construct whether it's an algorithm whether it's public policy there are laws there's the law of unintended consequences anytime humans try to set up a structure to get a certain kind of behavior from a person or a group of people they end up with something other than what they were shooting for sometimes it's successful but i'm not sure if you've heard of the cobra effect or if i've ever talked no, about no, this on the show so there was I, I can't even remember the country i actually i believe this was in british occupied india 
and there were cobra infest infestations. That sounds and right. so what they did was they said, we will pay people for every cobra tail that they bring us because then they'll be out there killing cobras. They have an economic incentive to do so. They'll bring the carcasses yeah, to us. We'll give them money. What happened was people started finding male and female cobras and starting breeding operations <laughs> yeah. so they could kill the cobras, bring them Yikes. to Brilliant. the British government, and get money. And so the population of cobras increased. <laughs> there's, a, there's a story I was reading on Reddit. And they said that they, pro they, they programmed an AI to play Tetris, hoping to see highest level play, like level 100. It's going so fast. You can't even see the screen. You know what the AI did? Just quit, got bored, and the, started playing Mario. The goal, <laughs> yeah. the goal was to see, to, to generate an AI that could play Tetris for as long as possible. So what do you think it did? Pause the game. Slow. Yes. Oh my, <laughs> oh my gosh, God. that's it hilarious. It just paused awesome. the game. Path of least resistance. That's right. That's and so ammo. we're thinking it's going to play, and then all of a sudden it pauses, and we're like, wait, what? Oh, man, oh, got to change on, that parameter. Man. So I'll tell you this. I think we've talked about the AI future where I've said, like, you know, you'll wake up, and your phone will vibrate, and it'll be like, free credit opportunity. <laughs> and it'll say, walk outside and yell. And then you'll, you'll be like, okay, you'll go outside and you'll yell. And then it'll go, accomplished, ba-ding. And then it'll give you credits. And then there'll be another guy walking down the street and he'll be like, turn left here and, you know, uh, uh, pick, pick, pick up this, this strange object from this man. And you'll walk by and you'll see the guy and there's his picture and he'll hand you a weird black orb and you'll go, okay. And then it'll say, now walk three feet and hand it to the woman. And you do, ba-ding, you get credits. Because what's happening is wherever you are and you're walking, the AI has found a, a method of delivering that object that it needs to a certain area faster oh. than you just going and doing it. So you're getting these random instructions you don't quite under, understand. Mm. The scary thing is, eventually someone's going to get one and it's going to be like, turn left here and they're going to fall off a cliff. And then they're going <laughs> to into the ground and holding the orb and then someone walks up and picks up the orb from the carcass Yikes. and walks away because the AI doesn't value you as an individual. Mm. Yeah. AI future, man. What if they code it in? What if they put, if going to have someone walk off building, then stop? <laughs> Remember when Apple good. Maps came out? Some lady yeah. drove into a lake because apparently she was... Oh my gosh, that's right. She was driving... That a throwback. She was driving on the road and it said, turn left here. And she went, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that episode what? of The Office. <laughs> you remember that? No. When Michael drives into the lake, I think the GPS tells oh, him to. There was a... That's probably where There's they got it a from. True story. Yeah. Yeah. There was one lady who drove like 500 miles into the desert because it told her to turn right here, and she did. And then she ran out of gas. And she's yeah. in the middle of nowhere, like, I don't know where I am. And because the computer told her to do it, she, she did it. The Siri didn't like how she was talking they, to her well, lately. Can I just, and she's like, well, I know what I'm doing. Can I just <laughs> stress, this is GPS. This is not even like something running your life. Mm -hmm. It's literally just a map you can look at and be we like, that's it. bringing me to the desert. Yeah. I'm not going to go there. Let's and go. people still do it. Yeah. Man, what do you think is going to happen when we start getting more and more robots to replace more and more of our lives? Dude, I had my GPS recently tell me to take a U-turn immediately after merging onto the highway when there, was a, <laughs> when there was a barrier between the sides of the highway How'd that, that you can drive on. So, like, literally, it was just telling me to kill myself. People, did. <laughs> like, people do it. Sorry, Seamus. Uh, people do this stuff. pretty rude. It's going to be uh, unfun, but... Uh, and then, you know what's the best part? I just went onto the highway normal-like, and then in order to get me off the highway and turn around, it, like, specifically had me go through two tolls. Wow. <laughs> that's rude. It's like, well, I, I'm starting to think this is on purpose. On, man. See, that's the other thing, too. Does your, does your GPS ever do weird stuff with tolls? Yes. Because I've had other people share similar stories. No, I don't, no, I, I don't, I don't know if it's intentional, but... Um, it's you, Seamus. Yeah, it's probably sorry. just me. <laughs> we got to make sure AI stays as advisors and not as commanders. It's too late, bro. I don't. Yeah. I don't know. We're, we've already got computer programs that that tell us what to do with our with our day. Think about how like, much I got. I got a watch, right? Media. Sometimes I'm wearing the watch, and then in the middle of the day, it'll vibrate, and then it shows a little man who's like middle middle age, like a middle aged kind of tubby guy, and he's like doing like you know, this or whatever, and going like that, and it's like time to get up, and I'm like, <laughs> and Tim literally up. does exactly that. I, I, goes, I literally like, does that little move. I've I, seen I, it happen. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's like I a get Pavlovian up. response. It's true. I, I, the little man says it's time to start moving, and I get up and I walk around and I go outside, and then it gives me a, a little thing. I get an award. Yeah. And I, I, like, I, bling, I actually job. downloaded the footage of the little guy doing that, and whenever I play it, Tim just involuntarily <laughs> starts true. doing the workout. He's been so conditioned. We'll, we'll have to, because the watch says I have to do it. You yeah, know? well, you, you have, have to. You can't not listen to the watch. I know. I think we'll have to make sure that following AI instructions gives you reward incentives as opposed to punishment for disobeying. Well, but I think the reward incentives That's just Brave New World versus 1984, Exactly. Thank you. Yeah, I think it's more in cities. You trust it more when it's just a reward. Brave New World versus 1984. Yeah, do you want your happiness medicine or your video game? Much rather have the happiness medicine. This is what social media is. That's what you're getting right now. I know. When you're staring at your phone 
You're getting those dopamine hits. Mm-hmm. You're seeing the mm-hmm. likes and the retweets, and you're yes. like, oh, man, you got to break that spell, man. It's ser- No, I'm just saying, like, I am the first to admit I have a problem with it. It's difficult. When you make any of your living on social media, you have this justification for looking at it and engaging with your audience, but it's really easy to justify an addiction that way. There's a really simple way to break the addiction to likes and views and retweets. Mm-hmm. You that? just need to have several million followers, That's get over exactly, 100 million yes. views in a single exactly. month. Exactly. Once I get there. Once, yes. But no, no, but in all honesty, <laughs> once there's no left to go you lose all reward triggering from the entire system and you lose any and all emotion related to any of it that's what i'm hoping for to it's just like, lose all of my emotions but related you can, to my job. But, but no, I, I hear you. Like, <laughs> I, I feel like if you hit a plateau, that's sort of what happens. It's, it's, not, it's not a plateau. It's like when, when, you, when you've climbed the top of the highest mountain, what do you do next? You know, eventually you're just like, well, that was fun. You know, well, I, see, all right, but here's what I would, I, like, I know, knowing myself, I would try to expand in other things. Because, you know, I'm already doing that. I, I work with other clients. I try to produce videos for no, different no, organizations. So I'll, saying, I'll always be like, I have to keep sure, pushing Sure, what I'm out. saying is most people, on uh, on YouTube, there's a YouTube depression thing that happens because views are seasonal, especially Dude, for for a show so like this. That's so true. It's yeah, true. so, so look, politics they are. So we're 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 a, a news politics. I think this is actually Tim Cassirella Society and Culture, but uh, Tim Ka- my, my, Tim Pool Daily yeah. Show is news. So views go way down, and everyone right now is like, "Haha, CNN's viewership is in the gutter." And I'm like, "Yeah, but I'm like, it's not. That's not it's, funny, it's, guys. It's, well, no, you no, no, laugh no, at look, someone for that. C- CNN's <laughs> general news, so their views shouldn't be this bad." But Brian Stelter's like checking. He's like <laughs> refreshing. Yeah, they couldn't break Looking a million views. YouTube they couldn't get they, CNN couldn't break a million views. This that's past rough. week or whatever. And so the point is, but it we're in the down season. There's no election this year. There's no primary. So next year's election, things will start kicking back up. But what happens to a lot of these YouTubers is they notice their views are going down. They have panic attacks. Mm -hmm. They start freaking out like, why are my numbers low? This is bad. And they feel like they're losing because they don't understand. Break the spell, dude. It's not real. No, that's true. That's true. I've gotten better at that because there are like over the past year, especially, I feel like I've had a lot of like, it is a weird way of putting it, but steady ups and downs. It hasn't been all over the place, but it's like, oh, we're doing really good, and then, oh, not so good, and then really good again. And so it's gotten to the point where I don't worry about it too much, but I think it has to happen to you Forget enough. About it. it has to happen to you enough to the point where you know not to be concerned when you're I in those dips. We just need to educate kids about this stuff before they get into it. Yeah. Well, I, here's I, the pro- I, yeah. A, a, a couple years ago, it was like in May, and I put up a video, and the views were just in the gutter. And I was like, did I do something wrong? May is, was is, bad for me, too. Is, is, is the video yeah. not entertaining? Like, mm-hmm. what's happening? And I was like, well, I'll tell you what. You can't win them all. Yeah. All right? So, so I, I'm like, eh, you know what? I did my best. I, I shot my shot. And uh, I'll just keep working tomorrow. And I don't let the little things hold me up. Went out to eat. And all of a sudden, I, we, we went out. Everywhere we went was packed. Every restaurant, oh, every that's diner. Why? And I was and you guys like, are like, guys, get back inside and watch, <laughs> watch my, my video. video. Well, what I, the heck? That, that, you're exactly right. <laughs> yeah. They were outside. Yeah. And so then yeah. I thought about it and I looked up. It had been raining the entire week. Mm. And so everybody was inside well. watching your watching your videos. Your views are good. And then the sunny spring day happens. Yeah. And all of the families wanted to go out to eat in the nice weather. I like it. That's what They're that not at about. home to watch videos. It's a song where I come from, rain is a good thing. It's yeah. about a YouTuber. <laughs> yeah. like when people That's are right. inside watching the videos, it's That's good why for winter me. works. No, yeah. it's, it's so... St- oh, sorry. No, go ahead. I, I just want to mention one more thing because it's on this topic. We have not... You mentioned we should be teaching kids about this stuff. And it's so crazy because we have no idea how to navigate social media in a truly healthy way. And it's not just social media. It's instant connection and communication. So I was thinking about this a while ago. If you had some kind of universal PA system in cars, the way truckers have them, where you can just communicate with other truckers, people would immediately start killing each other. Road wage would get oh, horrible. Wait, wait, like if people- No, 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 hold on, this, this exists. I know Tesla's starting to no, do no, it. No, 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 it, it's, it's like ancient technology, bro. No, no, that's what I'm saying. They could do it very easily, but no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, don't sell cars where you can talk yes, to the they other do. car. Yes, they do, every what? single car. What? You're talking about ancient technology. A powerful enough broadcaster will 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 broadcast sound from any okay, speaker. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I get what so you're saying. So you you can literally uh, if if you have the the broadcaster, I, I'm pretty sure it's illegal to do. So don't do it. Yeah. But if you had a powerful broadcaster, you could literally pull up next to a car and broadcast through their speakers whether they wanted you wanted you to yes. or not. On, 
It's not an issue of frequencies or radios or anything. It's that the signal hits the speaker itself and sends the sound out. My point is Tesla's talked about implementing this with Tesla and truckers have it. But oh, yeah, it's yeah, infrastructure yeah. for actually talking with the other cars on the road next right. to you where it's part of the status quo. You're not doing anything illegal. We don't do this. And I suspect part of it is because that would distract drivers and it would also be horrific in terms of road rage. You think about the way people talk to each other on the internet when they think they're anonymous. Imagine when you're on the highway with people you never think you're going to see again. I think Just, it would cause a lot of problems. And that's a relatively you know, simple technology. You I, look at social media and how much that's affected us and the fact that we were completely unprepared for it and it was just dropped on us we have no know, rules for it i i, I want to say i feel really bad for kids today you know why yes me they'll too. never know the joy of rushing full speed to the wall mounted phone as you race your siblings to try and answer it it's first because yeah. you want to know who's calling mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or and then like when you're running and then to when the bathroom rings, in a commercial break when it, when it rings and then it's your brother or sister who answers it and you're like who is it who is it and it's like a, it's like a, the bank calling and like who cares they're asking if I have time to take a survey <laughs> now, 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 now to be fair when you have like YouTube TV or one of these networks like you still run to the bathroom when the commercial comes on so. yeah, yeah for sure yeah. But, yeah. but I guess the, the other thing I wanted to mention is it's not even just social media you look at the instant communication that we have with our cell phones as SMS. You have an obligation to upkeep relationships with people when you're not even seeing them that day. People will be upset with you for not texting them back quickly enough. In the past, it was completely normal to go a day or two without having conversations with people who you were close to, but now it's constant and people will even be upset if you're not giving them space in your life and attention when you're Bro, not with them that day. I, I, you know, you, so, you know, uh, Ian, I'm sure everybody here understands this. I remember it's like I'm a little kid and I'm going to my friend's house, going to go see if they're home walk across the alley because we know our friend lives on the other on, on the next street over so you walk through the alley go to the house knock on the door there's no answer and i go i guess i'm not gonna hang out with him today oh. and that was it yeah I and then and some days some days i'd answer and, 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 and my friend's mom would answer and i'd be like you know is my friend home she'd be like oh he's uh he's at the park oh i'm gonna go to the park and i go there no one's there mm -hmm. and then i'm like eh, nobody's here i guess i'm at the park now by myself <laughs> that was it that was life no cell phones i caught the very tail end of that like i yeah. you know i didn't have a, a cell phone as a kid or anything like that uh, it wasn't until high school but oh the I adventures remember, dude yeah i remember when i was a kid just like going out to my my friend's house Bro. or calling them on the landline asking their parents if they were home it's like dr manhattan you know in in watchmen when uh He's, 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 he's at the final Antarctic fortress or whatever, and Ozzy Mendias has been sending tachyons to obstruct Dr. Manhattan's future site. And then he says, you know, he's like, I want to thank you. I'd almost forgotten the joy of not knowing. <laughs> mm. Bro, before the internet, before cell phones, life was an adventure. You didn't know where you were going or why you were going there. We'd like walk down the old freight tracks and then find like an old abandoned shipping yard. Yeah. Like, I don't know what it is. Now it's like the map just shows you the whole time and you're yeah. like, I knew that was there. It's not fun. Yeah, no, I miss no it. No adventure. I miss it. But I'm sorry, Cassandra, you were going to say something. Oh, it's okay. It's not relevant anymore. <laughs> not anymore. Don't worry. Yeah. Just say it. I want to hear it. It's okay. Are you sure? We're, yeah. Okay. We're what, way past that. When now. did you get internet for the first time? Um, I had it in elementary school at my grandparents' house. I would go on AOL dial up. Oh, my God. <laughs> dial up. My favorite noise. AOL. Yeah. Yeah. We had CompuServe. I would do on all DOS. the true crime. Bro, we had CompuServe too. <laughs> on DOS? Not on DOS, yeah. bro. What did you, what do you, what do you know? Nothing. Nothing. See, I, 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 um, I don't know. My, my Asian family was very technologically advanced. I see that, yeah. Yes. Well, let me tell you about my Irish family. Not super technologically yeah. advanced. Okay. I thought you were going to say something else. <laughs> very technologically advanced. What do you think I was going to say? Some kind of offensive stereotype? <laughs> Probably, I'll have yeah. none of it. I'll have none of it, Timothy. I thought you were going to mention whiskey or I'll something. I'll have nothing. Yeah, I'll have none of it. I thought, I thought Mr. you were going to say. Mr. Timothy Cast. I thought I you were going to say that your family were prestigious and uh, well-renowned distillers of fine yeah, whiskeys. Yeah, not, not drunks at all. <laughs> Excuse me, Tim? That's extremely offensive. I'm also offensive. Irish. That's, yeah, yeah, he can make some of these jokes, I guess. Some I like that. I like that family guy but joke. But your passing is not Irish, you know? So, like, you don't yeah. understand the oppression <laughs> it's true. that we I know, deal I with. Yeah. I like that family guy joke where it's like, he land that the plane lands in Ireland and there's beer bottles in the runway, <laughs> oh, and then yeah. he says something like, it's "You know, Ireland." Per he, he's like, "Ireland was a very different place before the invention of alcohol," and then it flashes back to like, but it's actually a futuristic society with flying cars. Yeah, and then the scientist comes in and he's like, "Look, they invented out whiskey," That's and they all start beating each other up. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's not true though. The the stereotype of Irish as being drunks has never been true. That's it's never so, been true. It was yeah. a propaganda thing. Patty I Wayne. promise. No, I've really never was. even met. I've never met an Irish person with a drinking problem once. It's true. I've neither. Not one of Are them. Are you lying? I, I've never met an Irish person who BS'd either, Tim. <laughs> never. It's, it's not even a thing. I'll I don't, never. dude. I'm going to be honest. There is a lot of truth to that stereotype. Yeah. There's a lot of truth to the stereotype of Irish people there. drinking a lot. Yeah, I'm, the, I, I got to be real. The paddy wagon. I don't, I don't know what PC nonsense you've been hearing, but it's, it's a thing.
It is. Thanks for checking out this clip from the Timcast IRL podcast. If you want to see the full show, come back to this channel, youtube.com slash Timcast IRL, Monday through Friday at 8 p.m., where you can leave comments and super chat, and we actually will read your comments on the show. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And if you want exclusive members only content segments you can't get anywhere else, go to timcast.com, become a member, and we even have full bonus episodes. Thanks for hanging out. And we'll see you all next time.